Hi, I'm Antonia. This is Universally Me. I'm very, very excited for today because I'm interviewing one of my favorite people in the world. Um, my aunt, who is a legend. She's amazing. She's everything. She's 104. And her name is Carla Lemley. So, hi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, when were you born, exactly? Oh, my birthday is October 20th. 1909 I was born. Wow, 1909. <laughs> yes. And you were born where? Chicago. Chicago. In a hospital. <laughs> and yeah. Do you remember Chicago? Do you remember Oh, sure up? I do. What was that like? Cold. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I was still pretty young. You know, when I moved out here, I think I was um, about seven. But I remember Chicago being, uh, I, I loved it because we had snow there and I would uh, play in the snow. There were a lot of, of very young people that lived there too and we, we uh, had a very good time. Yeah. What were your parents like? What was your mom like? Oh, she was wonderful. She, uh, <clears throat> was very, very intelligent. She had a college degree and all that. And um, she loved the theater. She, she wanted me to express myself, you know, in, as an actress. And she would you know, do everything to be helpful to me. I, I just adored her. She was... She was right with me on everything that I did, you know, and uh, it, it was uh, a wonderful time of my life. Um, and what about your dad? Well, he loved to play Pinochle. <laughs> and uh, he really wasn't very healthy all his life. He had a bad heart. He was quite a few years older than my mother. Well, I, I loved him very much, of course. What brought you guys out to California? How did you end up at Universal? My uh, uncle, my uncle Carl, talked my father into coming out to California for his health. So that's how that worked out. and. Um, we moved right into Universal Studio, you know. They had cool. a house there. In fact, two houses. It was pretty fantastic. Uh, we had the wonderful mountains behind Universal, and uh, we had the animals in the back part of the property. And I would wake up sometimes in the morning by hearing a lion's roar. And uh, I, I just loved living there. It was wonderful. That's cool. And that's where you started dancing? I was um, about uh, seven when my mother uh, enrolled me in, in a, a class. Yeah. Did you know that you wanted to dance forever? Well, I didn't know it, but my mother knew it <laughs> because I was just hopping around, you know, and as far as I knew, I was dancing. <laughs> and and um, she realized that I, um, I had um, some talent in that direction, and uh, so she started to give me dancing lessons. How did you get your first role in a movie? Your first one was Phantom of the Opera? Yes, I guess. Uh, but all I did was dance in that. I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't have speaking lines. Did you audition? No. <laughs> no? Did they just give you the role? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what no, they, they knew what I could do, you know. I, I loved doing it, and um, I, I wasn't nervous or anything, mm -hmm. you know, I, the camera didn't scare me or anything. Did you always, you just felt comfortable? Yeah. That's good. I just loved being an actress, and um, 
I felt at the time that my uncle didn't give me a proper chance, that I, that I could have done a lot more mm -hmm. if, if he'd given me the opportunity. But I don't, I don't think that he, he realized I had very much talent mm -hmm. at the time. And then her father brought Carl Lemley to see her in the light opera. And that's when Carl Lemley realized she had real talent. Oh, really? Yeah. So... Yeah, that was when I was working at the Shrine Auditorium. Really? The Shrine? Yes, I was on a contract. They were a 10-week season of light operas. And I was dancing and had parts in each one. Oh, wow. And I was... Uh, and Carl came to see you? Yeah. Uh-huh. And what did he think? Well, I guess he was proud of me. Do you have memories of Carl? Oh, sure I do. I remember that, that he just ran the studio. And um, he was a very, very wonderful man. Very, he, he knew exactly what was good. He knew what the public liked, and um, he really did a beautiful job at Universal. He would always hire directors that knew their job and writers. He, he was a very, very wonderful man, and uh, I was very fortunate to be his niece <laughs> and to live at Universal. I've heard there were some pretty great parties back then. Did you ever have um, like your birthday parties there? Oh, yes. And yes. what were those like? Oh, just fantastic. They were always costume parties and all the young people that I invited uh, came in costume and um, we always had it outside because there were so many people. And, uh, <laughs> and one of your good friends was Mary Philbin, right? Yes. And how did you two meet? Well, I knew Mary in Chicago. They lived just a, a very few blocks from our house, and uh, she was six years older than I, and very, very beautiful. And uh, it was my father that told my uncle that he should meet her, and uh, that she would be a, a very beautiful actress. So uh, he did meet her, and he was very impressed with her beauty, and he, uh, gave her a contract. And what do you remember about when you were filming Dracula? Oh, well, I remember the lines that I spoke. Among the rugged peaks that frown down upon the Borgo Pass are found crumbling castles of a time gone by. That was very <laughs> good. <laughs> bow, bow. <laughs> No, I, I'm glad that I uh, have sort of, you know, got that in my mind that I, I don't, I haven't lost it. No. And what about, um, do you have any memories of Bella Lugosi? Oh, yes. I saw him, of course, in several scenes. I was very impressed with him. <laughs> He's wonderful. I think I've heard you tell this story before. You saw Lon Chaney as the hunchback when he was filming? Uh, <clears throat> yes. Yes, I did. And what can you... Well, of course, he was such an artist. And uh, he was a wonderful, not only an actor, but he was able to do these tremendous climbs and really put his life in danger. He, he did, but 
he never missed a beat. He was he was just a remarkable actor, and I was very fortunate to be able to be that close to him at the time. I, I've heard stories about walnuts in his cheeks. Oh yes, he had this tremendous makeup, you know, and he would do it himself. He was a very extraordinary personality. He was wonderful, very gifted. And um, you still act, right? You still perform? If I have the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sure I would. Do you think that you're the oldest working actress in the world? <laughs> oh, no, I, I think there's somebody older than I am, but I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't am, think... I am pretty old. <laughs> I never think about it, but I'm, I'm so old because I, I don't feel that way. How old do you feel? Oh, no, maybe 22. <laughs> No, I really, I really uh, feel young. Mm -hmm. I guess, I don't know, is there anything else you want to say or you want the world to know? <laughs> <laughs> I just love living at Universal. I grew up there and that was very, very special. I, I just loved feeling close to everything wild. And what's your, what's your life and philosophy? <clears throat> Harm no one, especially yourself. But <laughs> I think that's a good one. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Oh, you're welcome. This is really fun. Um, <laughs> you can always keep up with everything that Carl is doing on www.lemley.us. Um, and I guess that's it. Thank you very much for watching. This is kind of a dream come true for me, and um, oh, thanks. Bye. Love you. <laughs>